And more on the winter blast in a moment. But first, breaking news on the New Year's Eve shooting in Barberton. A third victim, 42-year-old John Kohler, died this afternoon, and police have made two arrests in the case. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live in the Summit County Newsroom with the breaking details on the story. Well, here's what we know. The suspects are brothers, 22-year-old Michael Hendon and 30-year-old Eric Hendon. Tonight, they're in the Summit County Jail, charged with three counts each of aggravated murder. Police say they went to that home in Barberton and tried to rob the residents of drugs and money and instead opened fire. Before this news broke today, we spoke exclusively to the father of one of the teen victims. I hope... The monster or monsters that did this to my daughter are found. As a coating of snow covers a small memorial at the scene of the crime, Ashley Carpenter's father prays the brutal case doesn't grow any colder. We just wish that whoever would be callous enough to do something like this would be a man and accept your responsibilities. The bodies of Ashley and her 14-year-old brother David were found in a back bedroom of a home. Both were shot in the head. David's father, John Kohler, was also shot and died this afternoon at Akron City Hospital. A fourth victim, Rhonda Blankenship, remains hospitalized. Family friends are hoping for a break in the investigation. We are being told from the police department that they are making progress. And at this point, that is all they're telling us. The Barberton superintendent, along with the high school and middle school principals, stopped by the teen's home to offer their condolences. They said a moment of silence will take place at tonight's basketball game and earlier at the school, counselors comforted classmates. We've invited students to come in to talk, so there's quite a few there and um, they're, they're telling stories. Late this afternoon came word from Barberton police. They had arrested two brothers, Michael and Eric Hendon. News that will bring peace at tonight's candlelight vigil. Just remember they were beautiful kids and they did not deserve this. Meantime, an anguished father hangs on to memories. I love my daughter very much. And Barberton police are telling me tonight that one of the suspects, Eric Hendon, was paroled from prison just last June. He served time for sexual battery and the attempted aggravated murder of an Akron woman back in 2000. There is certain to be a lot more reaction tonight at the candlelight vigil, which gets underway 8 p.m. Live in the Summit County Newsroom, I'm Bob Jones.